Okay, let me explain to you about exploratory testing and then I am gonna give a couple of examples about it. Exploratory testing is an approach to testing software that involves simultaneous learning, test design and execution. The goal of exploratory testing is to discover defects, issues or bugs in software that may not be identified through scripted testing methods. Exploratory testing is a hands-on approach and testers are involved in minimum planning but maximum test execution. Exploratory testing has no predefined test cases, so it is based on the testers' understanding of the software and their experience, intuition, and creativity. Testers never follow predefined test cases. Instead, they create their own test cases on the fly. Exploratory testing is freestyle testing, actually. It is an unscripted approach to testing. I mean that testers have complete freedom to experiment with this software, try different combinations of inputs, and explore different features to find defects. Exploratory testing is something like test and learn technique. So I can say that it's a learning process. Testers start by exploring the software and as they discover new information, they use that knowledge to design new tests and identify new areas to explore. Exploratory testing is well suited to agile software development methodologies. So it emphasizes flexibility and adaptability. The approach is particularly useful when new features are being developed or when the requirements are unclear or changing rapidly. Exploratory testing gives us an active and quick feedback. It generates active feedback to developers, stakeholders, and other members of the testing team. So testers report their findings and provide feedback about the software's usability, performance, and reliability. Exploratory testing can involve ad hoc testing techniques such as monkey testing, which involves randomly inputting data to see how the software responds. Exploratory testing is a kind of continuous testing also. So it can be used in conjunction with other testing approach, such as automated testing and manual testing to create a continuous testing process that provides ongoing feedback throughout the software development lifecycle. Overall, exploratory testing is an effective approach to testing software. It allows testers to discover defects, bugs, and issues that might, that might be missed through scripted testing methods. And also, it provides valuable feedback to developers and other stakeholders throughout the software development process. Now, let me give a couple of examples about exploratory testing. Suppose that a mobile dev team is working on a new application. During exploratory testing of a new mobile application, a tester may try different types of user inputs, such as tapping buttons, swiping screens, or entering data. The tester may also try the application in different environments, such as a weak Wi-Fi connection to see how the app behaves. Now, let me give an, an example about exploratory testing on a website. During exploratory testing of a website, a tester may try different types of user flows, such as signing up, logging in, browsing product pages, and completing a purchase. The tester may also try different browsers and devices to see if the website works correctly on all platforms. Another example is about games. During 
exploratory testing of a video game, a tester may play the game multiple times, trying different strategies and exploring different areas of the game world. The tester may also try to break the game by performing actions that are not intended by the game designers. Let me give you an example about API testing. During, explore, exp, during exploratory testing of an API, a tester may try different combinations of parameters and payloads to see how the API behaves. The tester may also try to send invalid, invalid data to the API to see if it handles errors correctly. Last but not least, another example is on security testing. So, during exploratory testing of a software system, a tester may try different attack vectors such as SQL injection, cross-site cross scripting, or buffer overflow. The tester may also try to exploit different types of vulnerabilities such as authentication flows or encryption weaknesses. I think that's all about exploratory testing in details. Thank you so much.